Hello, this is Ashton. I'm back with uh, Alt PP, the C++ web framework um, that um, I'm really digging. I uh, really like it. I like the implementation. Um, last time we did a basic implementation, um, but there was a lot of things that I didn't like about that implementation. Uh, one of the things that I didn't like about that implementation is the fact that um, installing those libraries and stuff like that was, um, uh, I didn't like how messy it was installing those libraries. I like to like kind of encapsulate everything to be ready to deploy and ship out and not be uh, so uh, dependent, as less dependent on an environment as possible. Um, and I don't want to destroy my environment trying to build uh, this application. So when you installed the uh, OPP, um, when we installed the OPP, um, the OPP library, uh, it actually went into our uh, program files x86, and right here is where all those libraries are. Right here. Um, what I what I want to do is I want to get rid of this. I want to kind of encapsulate this um, to being in one location that's really manageable. Uh, easy to build. Um, I don't have to keep going into this, like my file system, my um, file system that's in the rest of the population. I kind of don't like that. So what I'm going to do is um, we'll leave this right here and let's talk about Conan. So um, Conan is a package management system um, where you can uh, manage packages and stuff like that. Um, this is Conan. Um, if you notice, it's uh, backed by JFrog, and it's kind of equivalent to uh, Maven, a Maven repository if you're familiar with Java. Um, and this, this is just more for a C++ aspect. So right here, you can actually go here and search uh, Alt PP, and it will give you all the packages for Alt PP. So see how we have the Alt PP framework and a few other packages here. Okay. But before we can use Conan, we got to install Conan. So what I did was uh, I went through the pip. I went through pip to uh, install Conan. So the first thing you have to do is install Python. The Python I installed was 3.9, the latest Python. Um, once you install Python, and the easiest way is to just um, download one the installer. Okay, I have the 64-bit installer where I downloaded and installed. 64-bit installer then I went over to pip right here is where I installed pip so if you go down here this right here you can actually download this uh, script right here run it in Python and then it install pip for you okay so now that we did all that now let's check I installed everything let's uh, check our um, check and see if uh, Python is there. So let's see. Python. Oops. Let's just do pi. Okay. So pi is there. Let's quit. Oops. Spelled that wrong. Okay. And let's see what happens when we do colon. Okay. Might take it a minute because uh, it's looking for an actual Conan file. So see, so I have Conan installed and everything. All right, so now let's talk about um, Conan is kind of equivalent to how um, SDK man, but without um, without um, being able to switch between all these different um, uh, CLIs and stuff like that. This is just for the package management. So if you actually go into your home directory and uh, say I go into my home directory right here, go user, ashto, and then uh, right here you'll see a Conan uh, folder here. And in this folder, you'll see where all the libraries are. So these are all the libraries that I did uh, a while ago when I did my cleanup. Um, so just to give some insight, just in case you have. It's kind of like uh, Maven, how uh, Gradle does things. Not Maven, but how Gradle does things. 
um, Gradle actually has a .gradle folder and then um, that's where all your libraries are installed and stuff like that okay so now um, back to the package manager um, you can actually click on this right here and it will actually tell you you can go here and you can click Linux or you can scroll down let's accept cookies I hate doing that you can scroll down and you can give it windows and see it actually says Visual Studio right here okay but when you actually this right here is what you actually ask Conan to install okay so the next steps is what we're gonna do is we're gonna do a cleanup of our current um, of our current uh, project okay alright so now let's uh, do a cleanup of our current project our uh, current project so the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go over to this OPP and I'm gonna delete this okay I wanna get rid of that okay so then uh, what I'm gonna do is there's a couple other things I'm gonna do is you remember that um, that actual um, <clears throat> that actual project we had uh, so the project we have from the last one from the last uh, video is right here okay so what I want to do is I want to attempt to clean this up and use all Conan okay so there's a couple things we have to do first so what I'm gonna do is let's uh, expand this back out and um, let's uh, actually go over to our file system um, let's go CD and let's go to uh, projects I believe and uh, let's go over to the OAT2 and uh, once we go to the OAT2 let's go to the OPP starter and here we go right here okay so I'm going to delete quite a few files the only thing I want in here is my source folder that's the only thing I want in here okay I don't care about the the source and the test are the only things I want because if you go into the CMake it actually brings in your source and test fo folders okay so if you so there go your source folder and then uh, somewhere down here it actually brings in your test folder let me find it somewhere down in here ah here we go project tests which is right here which is going to bring that test folder in as well and then right here you see how we make a second executable for test and let me uh push this over a little bit we make that second that second um, executable using all of the test files okay so we're gonna keep this intact but what we're gonna do is we're gonna go and delete all of those files okay not all of them it's just everything but the uh, source and test so here it goes let's go uh, let's go here let's go to um, back here let's go uh, users ashto and then we're gonna go over to uh, projects and then we're gonna go to the O2 and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna get rid of all this keep the CMake file so we want to get rid of these two I mean these three this this and this right here you got you have to get rid of the git ignore anyway because you want to push to your repository we want to get rid of utilities we want to get rid of this too so what we're going to do is get rid of from here to here we're going to get rid of this only thing we want is this right here and right here we're going to get rid of this old pp because that was just the build folder that we used to make those includes we're going to keep this build folder right here but what we're going to do is actually clean this out Okay, clean that out right there, and then uh, let's go backwards. We can keep that build folder. The sonar lint and the git can go. Okay, so now the first thing we want to do is if you we already got our CMake file, but we want to make another file. That file we want to make is the file that we link to the Conan. Okay, so the name of that file. Uh, that Conan picks up is going to be something like this. So I'm just going to make a regular file. It's going to be TXT, and I'm going to call it Conan 
file.txt. Okay. So there's a couple things that we want to do in this Conan file. So right here we got the Conan file. Uh, right here, this is how we tell it what packages it requires. So we're going to do requires. And um, let's go and grab the OPP. So I'm going to do something like this. I'll just copy this over. Okay, so right here. And so um, this right here, if you ever go over to Conan and you saw the uh, Conan repo and you saw uh, what, how do we name that package? This is how we name the package name and the version. And I'm add a couple packages that I want in there for the future because this is going to help us with our swagger. And so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the generators in, okay? Um, the generators that I used was the uh, CMake paths and the just the regular CMake. Okay. So this is how we're going to integrate. Well, one of the one of the uh, steps we have to do to integrate Conan into this path, right? I mean, uh, CMake and Conan. Okay. Let's do this right here and let's save it. Okay. So now that we did that. Now, right here, what we have to do is we can go into here and uh, let's cd to the build file. And what we want to do is we want to do a cmake and we're going to go to the previous folder. Okay. So what that's going to do is build our project and I want to show you a couple things too after it builds our project. It's going to make all of the all of the project files and all that stuff uh, to actually um, run the project, um, and it's going to actually spit out the uh, CMake files. Okay. So now you see how we got these errors here, right here. Okay. So let's take a look at something real quick. Okay. So it did make our CMake files right here, but there's a couple things that's still missing. So if we go and look right here, see right here it says add the installation prefix OPP to the CMake pre prefix path. Uh, and there's a couple other things that went wrong. Okay. So now some of the things we have to do is when we go over to this make file, uh, we're going to have to transition this make file a bit. Okay. So in order to transition that make file, there's a couple things we have to do. So um, the first thing we have to do is we would have to, let's add in the, um, let's see. Let's, uh, what we can do is add this in too right here. So what we'll do is take, um, we'll take our cone and flag setup. Okay. And what I'm going to do with my Conan flag setup is I'm actually going to add that here. Let's see, we'll go up to the top, we we'll add it maybe about right here after setting up the project. Okay. So this is the VS runtime and this is all the flags that we have to do a setup. There's the actual Conan setup here that we do. Okay. Now, another thing is one thing I forgot to do is right here if we take this and we say Conan install and we do one of these right here and it'd be the previous directory it's gonna go and grab all our packages okay so it's gonna put all our packages in that spot that I told you about um, and actually it picked up the Conan info and then they're going to draft and the graph info and all that stuff. Okay. So if you actually um, go over to this right here, let's uh, do a refresh. Okay. So when we go into this build right here and see it added everything in here, see how it actually made the build info and everything. Okay. And then they're going to call in path dot make C make file. Those were those setups that we, those were those um, um, functions that we put in um, by, the, by the generator. 
okay those generators we put in so now what we need to do is let's go and revisit our make file so in our make file these are a couple things I discovered and this is for the VS runtime and then there's some Conan flag setups set up here for some of the paths and libraries so you want all those paths to be included on whatever Conan builds this is what connects you to that Conan the Conan directory the dot Conan that I showed in the um, previous that I showed previously and so uh, we still got some doctoring up to do here so the next thing we want to do is that Conan build info to CMake so we're going to inject that CMake that it developed into here after doing the um, Conan install so this will make it where this is pretty much a CMake file if you if you actually go and look into here um, and look at this file right here this is the actual CMake file right here and I reverse engineered this in order to get some of the answers for what I wanted to do okay so I went in and looked and read all the code and stuff like that okay so now <clears throat> we got that taken care of now what we have to do is we need to change the way that we bring our libraries in because all our libraries are here okay are in here this would tell what libraries we have that are going to be installed and everything because we're pulling this in so we got to well we got to integrate it a little bit better so what we'll do is we we'll go over to the uh, the CMake file right here and uh, what we'll do is right here you see where we add these where we add the uh, libraries the linkers right here these two are gonna go away okay so in order to make that go away this is what I did okay I replaced those two with this right here okay and this is based on reverse engineering the uh, functions that was in that Conan that was those functions that was in the uh, Conan um, that CMake file that Conan made see I added too many here okay so right here what we're doing is let me uh, pull this over and uh, so right here if you notice Conan lives if you go into that CMake file that Conan made these are where all the Conan libraries that you installed are okay so I made them public and I brought them in okay for our target link libraries okay so then um, let's see if we can get a build out of this see if I can get this to build so what I'm gonna do is the first thing I do is when I want to do a new build um, I remove the Conan lock so what I'm gonna do is remove dash RF matter of fact what I'm gonna do is remove everything in this build folder right here so remove star okay it's gonna be a move everything here so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do another Conan install and then the previous uh, directory where my Conan fold file is and then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do a C C make and looks like let's see for old PP oh, let's do this um, let's see if I forgot anything set the name Okay, got the flags. Yep. Project name, standard. Everything looks about good. Okay, everything looks good. Uh, let's see something. Project web, everything looks good. 
Okay. So okay. I think we're good. We're good on ammo. Okay. So, so it says configuration is incomplete in the C make. Following names, alt config make. This project has at C make defined package configuration file by alt pp, but C make did not find one. Okay, okay so, so let me see something. something. Let me make sure I removed everything. Ah, you know what? That's why. I didn't hit the save. So let's uh, remove everything. I'm going to do a star. Let's do a C make. Hopefully, this works right here. I do a C make for. Nope, nope. We got to do a Conan install first. Okay. Component install previous have it look for it and then let's do the C make fingers crossed okay much better okay so that's that's the reason why it happened um, so now that we have that build you see how we built that like that so let's do a C make and let's do a build and let's do a dot let's see if we get this whole thing to build out for us okay so now let's do this Let's do an LSLRT in the debug. And look at that. We have the exe file. So what we just did right there was we eliminated a whole bunch of uh, heartache that we had with the last build. Okay, So now we can continue to build this out. Okay. So now one thing I really like is I, like, I actually like documentation. Um, I'm a big documentation buff. I like auto documenting okay so let's talk about adding swagger into this okay so what we're going to do is we're going to go over and we're going to add swagger okay so now what i'm going to do is we got to make some more adjustments here okay so i kind of rigged everything with uh swagger um so after reading that file this file right here um, I actually built in the C make I actually built the path to the swagger files that are um, and I included those I made it where it moves those files okay it copies those files and move them to where um, I want them to be okay whenever we do the build so for instance uh, we already got um, we already have um, the swagger um, library now we just need to go in and add the um, the actual um, configurations for swagger so for instance right here I'm actually grabbing the path of, of the uh, swagger files in the dot conan folder and I'm taking those resources and I'm copying them over okay so I'm doing a copy and I copy them over to the debug folder so that whenever we call the Swagger UI, it's going to be a res folder inside the debug folder. Okay. And I got these, I got these names right here. I got this stuff from this file right here. When this file is built right here, I actually pulled those names here. So right here, you can see where those names are. So that's that Swagger root folder right there. All I have to do is build the rest of the path like the include right here you see how we got the include right here all I have to do is build this path up to where those static swagger files are and that's what I did so now if we actually go in here let's do a remove dash RF and let's uh, remove everything in the build okay and uh, I'm gonna do a Conan so first thing you do is you do a Conan install 
and then you point it to the directory behind it because that's where the cloning file is. Okay, and then we're going to do a CMake, and then we're going to do just a CMake dot dot. Okay, and we do a CMake. Dash dash build dot. Okay. okay. So, so now, if we go to LSLRT and we do a debug, okay, and um. That res folder should be there. Let's see. So it might have not have copied over that res folder. Hold on. Ah, it's because I didn't save it. Let me save the changes. <laughs> uh, fill down. Star. Um, I like to do a Conan install. So I do my Conan install. Let's do our CMake. Uh, typing is horrible. We do a CMake. And see how, see, right there. Found the res right there. So if I do a um, CMake and then I do a uh, build. And then uh, let's just build this folder out. Okay. So if I do a LSLRT and then I do a debug. And there you go, they're going to rest. So if I do a debug and then I do a uh, rest, see, swagger files are there. So when we up and run this and add our swagger here, then we'll be able to see our swagger. But we're not done yet. So now, there's a couple things we have to do. So the first thing we got to do is we have to modify the server to actually make the controller for the swagger and all that good stuff. So what we're going to do is if we go into the app pp we got to add a couple libraries as well okay so if you go over to source app pp and uh let's uh shrink this over here and so there's a couple things we need to do so what we need to do is we need to actually add the swagger library which is right here so we're going to add that swagger library and then what we have to do is we need to add the uh, endpoints to add to the Swagger uh, controller. So we're going to take the Swagger controller. We're going to copy it here because this is where all the routes are. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to build a list and push those. We build a, we take the docs, we call it, I'm going to call it docs endpoint. And this is from the tutorial. Okay. And, and then, then what I'm going to do is I'm going to push my controllers in there. So after I make my controllers up here, which is that my controller, the hello world, what I'm going to do is push it into endpoints. And then what I'm going to do is feed endpoints to this right here. Okay. So doc endpoints are going here. Okay. So we got that. This is setting the route. So now we need to actually make the... Um, OPP component. So if you look into the app component, there's going to be two components that you make. Okay. So if we go over to here and we go to the app component, the first thing you have to do is make the first that first component. So the first component will be something like um, let's see. Let me make some modifications. Okay. And uh, 
And uh, I'm just going to leave everything else out of the box. So if you actually take this right here, and this is actually in the tutorial, how you create that Swagger component to get those static files is right here. So this is the information on the Swagger. Okay. Now we need to add a, one more piece. Okay. We're going to add the actual resource loader. That's going to load all those files to resolve all the static files. Now, this is a special piece right here. So if you notice when I did that dash P, this actually comes from the CMake file. So I'm save that. This comes from the CMake file right here. Um, I actually use the power of CMake to actually inject this variable into my C++. Okay. So if you go over to here, when I did this right here, the dash D, I actually put the path in there. Okay. The actual, the direct path of where the source is, where like the actual full path. So this is real dynamic. Okay. This is that full path. Um, so you can, this is the real dynamic. Um, it's plug and play. So what I mean by that is you pull it down, you stamp it, you run it, and you don't have to worry about the past anymore because C make could take that over for you. Okay. <clears throat> when you build the C make. So now that we did that, we have to actually go over to let's save it. Let's go over to the actual controller. Okay. So in this controller, let's go into this controller right here. So let's try to add some documentation to this, okay? So the documentation I added in my controller was something like this. Um, it's real simple. It'll be endpoint info. And there's some libraries we have to add to as well, okay? So we go through those. So this is that endpoint we want to add right here. And then let's see if we had to add it. So we didn't have to add any extra libraries in here because we have the uh, API controller here, which is self-documenting. Um, but let's go, let me go over to my app PP, make sure I added all the Swagger stuff. Let's go over to my components, which I think I'm missing two libraries in the components that I need to add, which is the Swagger model and Swagger resources, okay? So in the app component, and this is all in the tutorial, okay? The tutorial that is posted for this uh, framework. Okay, what's not in the tutorial is the way that I did the CMake stuff. Okay, I had to figure that out on my own, and this is why I wanted to put it out there. So I added both the models and I added resources, um, and I've already showed you where these libraries are. Um, and then so, let's see what we can do if we can get a build going and uh, get a test going. So. Let's clear this out. Okay. Um, let's uh, remove dash RF uh, star, and then let's do a uh, C. Let's do a Conan install. Once we do that Conan install, um, what I want to do is do a CMake dot dot. And then we're gonna do our build. Hopefully this works. So your build will fail if your path is not correct. Okay. Okay. And so if I do a C make slash build and I build this directory. Okay. So I'm gonna go out and build. And while I build, also keep in mind. Make sure that when you go to Conan, the uh, actual Conan um, uh, repo, it will tell you. So if we look up Swagger, uh, I'll type it back in like this. If we look up Swagger right here, uh, it actually tell you what libraries it's compatible with. So if you look at dependencies, 1.20, okay? So you got to make sure that when you do the Conan file, that this Swagger right here, 1.20 Swagger, only matches with the OPP 
I had it at 1.25, but they're incompatible and doesn't work with each other. Because there's no Swagger 1.25. It has to be made. So right here, keep in mind, what are you willing to throw out? And what are you willing to gain? Are you really willing to throw out documentation for, I mean, yeah, for security? Which I haven't did all the security, you know, um, assessments or anything like that. Uh, so kind of weigh that out. Right here, since it's just a regular project, I'm, I just want what's compatible, okay? And it could be that the fact that this is the most stable, I'm not sure. All right. So now, if we do a, um, whoops. Sorry about that. So now, if we go over to here, and then we do a CD, and we go to debug, okay? And uh, let's uh, see if our swagger is working. So let's go here, and run this right here, okay? So now, let's go and see if our local host 8000 is working. That's working. So let's see if our swagger is working. And see that? Our swagger is working. Huh? So we got our swagger running. We had our we had we covered Conan. We covered up cleaning up our build system, making it more clean. We covered um and we covered how to add swagger. Okay. And we can build it now and add new libraries and stuff like that. Peace.